Hi everybody, my name is Omar. How's it going this morning? There's my lunch. It's so good. Take that with me. I'm a little worried, I ain't gonna lie about this morning. Uh, I happen to be a hairdresser. And um, I'm not the type of hairdresser that just sits around and I wait for walk-ins. No, no, no. My time is much more valuable. Um, not that people that do that, time is invaluable or anything. Um, I just would much rather have people make appointments because I've been doing this a long time and um, I can't just wait around for you. Like, that's not me. Sometimes I get people that make appointments and they don't show up to their appointments. And that sucks sometimes. I ain't gonna lie, pisses me off. Well, I am slightly tired this morning before going to work. I think I'm working on four hours of sleep. And though that might sound like a lot of sleep to some of you guys, for us 30 year olds, we need like at least six, six hours of sleep. I don't like to sleep a lot, but four hours, I'm a bit tired. I stayed up all night last night on You Now. If you don't know what You Now is, I suggest you download it. It's so much fun. You get to broadcast yourself live and people get to chime in and talk to you back. But it's not like a Skype thing, you know? It's kind of like you broadcast yourself live in real time and people chat with you like in a chat room. I'm suffering today because of it. Freaking stupid me. Hopefully I can do some hair good with my four hours of sleep. I should be fine. I think I'll be all right. I feel more creative when I have less sleep because my dreams kind of get mixed in there. Do you ever feel like that? Sometimes when people like miss too many appointments, you know what I do? I end up like just missing an appointment on them. It's like payback. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do her color right now. She did show up. Um, I was kind of contemplating like if she didn't show up, if it was the client that I thought it was. I was like, man, should I color my hair? Um, sometimes we get bored when clients don't show up. But I'm gonna start mixing some color. You wanna mix some color with me? All right, let's do it. So we're doing like some caramely type highlights on her. I'll show you what she looks like in a little bit. Very perky. So about that. Now this um kind of mixes oops to consistency. Kind of like gravy, you know. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do ten volume. Now you don't want it too thin and you don't want it too thick. So I start out with a little bit first. Mix that up. Don't you be eating my food now? What food did you bring? I brought some like barbecue. Oh, nice. And some shrimp. Oh gosh, now you're gonna take it. You're gonna <laughs> graph me like this. Look at me, I've been crying. Ugh. What? Why are you crying for? As my mother passed away. <gasps> Sometimes I have my camera on at the wrong moment. Doesn't happen very often. Um, but my friend Angela, her mom had passed away, and um, I kind of I turned the camera off to give her a hug. And I, I think anybody who's going through some hard times, you can really heal them with a smile or a hug. Um, hugs are the best, though. On a positive note, though, my friend Angela, the day before her mom passed away, she actually got engaged. And I thought that was pretty cool. It's like, I mean, something like that couldn't have happened at a better time. I, I think um, when there's dark situations, there's light situations that happen at the same time. I'll give you an example. When my daughter was born, a grandmother of mine died. Till this day, I mean that happened over 10 years ago, and till this day I feel as if my grandmother's still alive. It was actually my great-grandmother. But I still feel like she's alive um, because I never got to go to the funeral. All that happened when my daughter was born, uh, which is, it was kind of a bittersweet moment. And I love her to death. So where there is death, there's life. 
believe it or not. Anyways, I'm just wrapping up this mixture here. It's got some low light and some high light. Grab you some oh. food. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Get any color on you didn't get no color on you, I promise. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. uh, do you want some? No. I'm no. All right. You want? Anybody want some? My treat. We we're gonna cut it to here. What do you think? No. No? How about to here? No? Okay, later. What kind of dog is this? It's a Chihuahua mixed with a Pomeranian. So, what's the name? <laughs> like what? A, a <laughs> Chihuahua. Chihuahua. So, Pomeranian. Yeah, probably the next time, we're going to do like more like that. They're going to be better. Add even more highlights at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you didn't have like anything. This color, like this color, yeah. You didn't have anything back here before. Yeah. So. Yeah, like the next time I want like more like that and more like thicker. Even thicker, like up here, like thicker highlights. Yeah, but like this color. Oh, this okay. one look like more like bright. This one look like that. Okay. My last client that I just did, um, lady with the dark hair and the highlights. Um, she didn't like her hair. And you know what? I know I did a good job. I'm not trying to be cocky, but it goes to show you that sometimes you can do a good job on somebody and they end up not liking it. Now her thing was, um, she was like, I can't see any highlights underneath. Well, what's funny is she didn't have highlights under there before I did her hair and I actually added some without her even telling me to. I actually put highlights under there for free. Like I went the extra mile and I try to do that with everything I do. I did extra. Um, didn't really brag about it or anything. And yeah, she's like, I can't see any highlights down there. I'm like, well, you didn't have highlights under there to begin with. And I actually added a bunch. But I think it was kind of the lighting. Um, it, it gets a little dark in here and kind of dim sometimes. So I, I showed her in the light, but she, she kind of still didn't like it either. Uh, whatever, I know I did a good job. And um, I did extra, and I didn't even get tipped or anything for it. So, uh, and I didn't even charge her that much money either. I should have charged her a lot of money. She had a crap ton of hair. I actually ran about 20 minutes behind on my next client. She's over there under the dryer. I don't know if you can see her. Oh, sometimes when I have people under the dryer, my back starts hurting a little bit. I come sit in this chair right here, it's the pedicure chair, see? Except I'm not getting a pedicure, I'm getting my back rubbed. And, oh man, it feels so awesome when your back hurts to have this thing uh, massage you a little bit. It's that lower back thing. That is cool. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Alright, I own up. This is my fourth BMW. This BMW is way nicer than mine. Way nicer. Oh, I like BMWs. They're pretty. Me too. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. This is an i8. Mm -hmm. Damn. Can I see the inside? Whoa. That's so pretty. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, who goes and rides in the back? My granddaughter. Uh huh. <laughs> she does? <laughs> yeah, she's only seven. We can squeeze her I in. I like there. these blue seatbelts. Those I are know, cool. It's different, isn't it? I have to, like, get a clip of you driving away. Like, it's just. It's really pretty. It, it is a nice car. I mean, I, oh. I really do. I waited like a couple of years. You know what's prettier though? Your hair. <laughs> Came out nice. Yeah, Ray, Ray does a good or job, doesn't he? Yeah, he did. So does that like door go by down like by itself or you have to... No, I gotta pull it. You gotta pull it? Probably the new model. You just go right? It's like a spaceship. Itself, right? right. Pretty soon. I think in our generation maybe... I know. Uh, oh, it is? Oh, I didn't know that. That's why I 
I just cranked it up and you didn't hear it. No, I didn't. So it's a hybrid? Oh, cool. I don't even want to drive my car now. I'm just kidding. I love my car. I know. I, I, I've had a BMW, a couple of them, and I just... They're great cars. Oh, I love them. Yeah. I love them. I love the service. Take care. Thanks, dear. That is awesome. All right, so um, that is probably the most expensive BMW I've laid eyes on. Man, you can't even hear that thing turn on. It's like part electric. Uh, there she goes. That thing is fresh. What does it say? BMW i. And super cool. This thing's pretty fresh too. Well, you can see um where I work, there's a lot of nice cars and uh yep, here's my BMW compared to that thing, man. That thing is freaking awesome. All right, I got to go grab my stuff. Yeah, there she goes. Woo! What? Which? Is there another cool car out there? Yeah, it's mine. Oh. The red one. Whose car is that? I think it's Stacy's car. She said it was hers. Yeah. She said she's lying. Oh. <laughs> that's not your Lamborghini? No, oh, sorry. sorry. You think I can it's got like a British flag on it, right? Oh, I gotta get a closer look of that, that later on. You think I can put that in the way of Yeah, why not? Oh, Ethan, all of that came out of your book bag? Mm -hmm. That is like well organized. I knew it. <laughs> oh, is this project you're working on? It's boring. <clears throat> what is it? For a book that we were forced to read. What's the book about? What? Tell me. This is the. I know this is the book. But what's it about? You didn't read it, did you? I did. You're just doing a book report and you're like, eh, I don't read it, man. Really? I'll just read the back. Yeah. Hear what it's about. The back is just a quote. It isn't even about the book. What's the book about? It's about a girl who takes a road trip. And where does she go on a road trip? Lewis to Idaho. And what does she do on a road trip? She drives there. What does she do on her road trip? Oh. Like, what's so awesome about her road trip? She wants to meet her mom. Oh, okay. And you know, you were pretty good dollar. Do you think you could draw a car for us? <laughs> All you gotta do is copy it. Why is it like, 